These days, there are a ton of games that I love, and I've been introduced to plenty in the past year and a half. But Animal Crossing has stood the test of time and will always be my favorite. It's special because of all the games he's introduced me to since we met. Animal Crossing is the one I introduced him to. So it seems only fitting that we use Animal Crossing to finally turn the tables and analyze him like he's some kind of scientific specimen we're researching. <laughs> Look at this. Animal Crossing door opening. <laughs> all jokes aside, I'll tell you what you can expect when I made my boyfriend play Animal Crossing. Aside from filming scenes for our videos, we haven't played Animal Crossing together in a long time. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Where am I? Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> what? <laughs> this isn't my house. We both played religiously at release, but mostly I just play the events nowadays. I still constantly play on my own though, and he hears all about it because when I'm not playing the game, I'm lying in bed talking about it. But this is like my like, did, oh my God, the flowers have just overtaken everything. Holy shit, Taryn, do you see this? But every now and then I'll get a mysterious love letter in the mail and know he's back on a kick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's my favorite. I forgot I said that. When it comes to games, I usually take a fairly innocent approach to them. That's to say that I tend to take things all at face value. The first time I played Animal Crossing and Captain asked me where I was going, in blissful ignorance, I typed out my house and consequently spent years living in a town named my house. Granted, I was in elementary school, but some things still haven't changed. I still play this game like I'm in grade school. Someone's online. Oh, I guess no one is. You are offline. Hey, it's your mom. <laughs> My boyfriend couldn't be more of the opposite. Every time we work on our islands, I look over what he's doing and compare it to what I'm doing and feel like we're playing a completely different game. To me, he doesn't play games, he solves them. He likes to read the rules, he likes to do the math, and above all else, he likes completing them. Ah yes, me and my favorite things. <laughs> Whenever a first of a new month would roll around, he'd aggressively go after all the new fish and bugs from the museum. I don't know what all the rush was about, because what is there to do the other 30 days if you get them all on the first? I guess he just wanted to complain about golden tools breaking as quickly as possible. <laughs> don't you dare. Left to his own devices, he'll start slowly dismantling a game. And then next thing you know, my favorite comfort game gets turned into a world of finances and day trading. When it comes to accumulating currency, he's all about maximizing that number. Making bells is pretty much what makes the world go round in Animal Crossing, so I can always rely on him to figure out the methods to get the most bang for his buck. Within the first week of having New Horizons, he figured out how to make an island that spit out tarantulas like they were going out of style, and paid off his home loan in no time. Of course, that wasn't good enough for him, so then he started stockpiling his bugs until Flick came for a visit so he could sell them for three times their value. All the while, I was just struggling to nail the timing on catching one of those hairy little guys. Yo! Shit. Wait, no, that's a- <laughs> I placed that. That's- <laughs> That's a toy cock. <laughs> Games are all about having fun, and that's what makes things fun for him. Who am I to judge how he runs his island? At the very least, it's not named my house. Sitting there with an ATM filled to the brim with bells that he earned by becoming a vegetable stock trader isn't hurting anyone. I should also add that I'm not complaining because I happen to be a major beneficiary of his. <gasps> You're paying for my coffee! <laughs> For me, Animal Crossing has always been about decorating my house, planting flowers, shopping, and making friends. Paying off home loans and public works projects were still a part of the game, but they were always a pretty low priority. They'd happen when they'd happen, but I was never in any rush. Nowadays, I'm spoiled because every time he comes to my world, he'll sneakily pay off the gyro when I'm not looking, and I'll wake up the next morning with a new bridge. Help. Picking my pumpkins. No. No! 
shit. Customizing the world is the main draw for me and it kills me that he's a better decorator than I am. I feel like I can never get things quite right. Like it's either a little too messy or a little too sparse, but he somehow nails that balance every time and it drives me absolutely crazy. I'm constantly adjusting things and shifting them around, but he always makes it look so easy for him. Yeah, this is a very like, I made this for you. <laughs> Look at the turtle. We're so lucky the New Horizons moved past having to actually push and drag furniture because even with the decorating mode, it takes me forever. Oh, this is my arcade. I like this, is probably my favorite room. Look at the little alien. I love that. He's like invading Earth. New Horizons added all sorts of other new ways to play too, like terraforming, crafting, and most importantly of all, putting things outside. All I ever wanted to do as a kid was to be able to place furniture outside, and now my dream is a reality. Of course, this groundbreaking addition to the series didn't come without some heartache either. My island has been one big unfinished mess since the day I got the game. It's a project that's dragged on for years and will probably only end when the next installment in the series releases. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep going now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorting. This is exactly <laughs> what I came here for. No. I say all of this because I can't help but be envious that he came up with a design of how he wanted things to look and knocked it out in only a few weeks. His island looks more or less the way it did three years ago. When I tried terraforming, I run in circles, completely remodeling the area and then realize that I don't like it and tearing it all back down again. It's to the point that you can't even really call it terraforming anymore. So we switched to calling it terraforming. Oh my god, Taryn, look at how this area has just been, like, conquered by the flowers. Oh, oh no. I wonder what it's like to get the terraforming right on the first try. It must be nice not having to tear down a bunch of cliffs when you realize you didn't line things up properly and placed things one square off. I feel like this summoning circle looks a lot less sinister when it's covered in a rose bed. We've mentioned it before, but between the two of us, he's always been the organized orderly one, and I'm the chaotic tornado that tears everything apart. Not only do these traits both transfer to our Animal Crossing worlds, but it's actually like 10 times worse. What the hell is this? Oh my god, I said don't come out the basement. It's not finished yet, and I ran out of room, so all my Halloween decorations are just in the basement. Are you- wait a minute. <laughs> This is like almost as bad as real life. You've got Halloween stuff. You've got wrapping paper laid out on the floor. There's barely any room to walk around. Like, look at this. I got to like squeeze through stuff. I'm a total hoarder with clothes and furniture. And because of that, I'm constantly running out of storage space. That's where he comes in. Similar to our closet in real life, there's my half and then my half of his half. And you have a storage that all these items could just disappear into. It's full. <laughs> He ends up holding on to a ton of stuff for me and somehow still manages to have plenty of space left over. The majority of what he's been holding on for me is my crafting materials because he's the one with all the good DIYs. He had all the best crafting recipes, so I was always knocking at his door asking him to make me cool stuff. And so it just seemed easier to dump all my rocks and wood in his lap. Let's be real, I needed more room for clothes. This is probably like a king? King with a mask? A bold choice to be sure. Since neither of us are time travelers, the recipes are mostly luck of the draw. But I swear, every day I wake up to the same three DIY recipes washing up on my beach. I'm on like my 15th DIY for the kettlebell, and meanwhile, he's constantly pulling something fresh. Look at all these kettlebell recipes you have. One of the major benefits of tricking, I mean convincing, my boyfriend to hold on to all this stuff for me is that he doesn't really keep track of whose is whose. He's super diligent about collecting wood and stone each morning, and honest to God, I can't remember the last time I made a flimsy axe. So chances are I've been dipping into his supply for a long time now. In my defense, it's ludicrous how often I run out of regular wood and get nothing but soft wood for my trees. I feel guilty, but he's been done with crafting for quite a while, but somehow never gets tired of stockpiling resources. Look at all these acorns. This is great. I mean, for a thousand nook tiles, takes out a hope so. For the most part, Animal Crossing is something we play when we want to hang out and relax because the stakes are so low. It's Wade! Uh, what? <laughs> oh my god. Why does everybody want in? Biscuit? Oh, I can't say no to Wade. Are you kidding me? You'll always find ways to complain about how there's no perfect fruit or the store can't get more upgrades. But to me, Animal Crossing is Animal Crossing. 
you know, just take me out of the house too. Don't do this loading screen and then, yeah, you know what I mean? Cause now I gotta go through here and we have another loading screen. And there is a lot of waiting in this game, which, oh my God, Sahara? At the end of the day, we just like being able to dive into a world where everyone is kind and happy to see us. Of course, it's not cool of our villagers to guilt trip us so hard for not having visited them in months. No way. Four months? That was probably you, yeah. I'm so sorry. On the topic of villagers, his island is completely overrun by penguins, and that's no accident. He is still down here. <laughs> Rold, I don't know how to tell you this, but I gotta, I, I gotta go. When I first introduced him to New Leaf back when we first met, I found out that his favorite animals were penguins and slowly started gifting him amiibo cards for different holidays. Eventually, he had more penguin cards than he could host villagers, and they all followed him to his island on New Horizons. If you see a non-penguin villager in town, then chances are it's one that I want that he is holding on for me, sometimes indefinitely. Remember, my half of his half. Get out of here. She's stuck in dialogue. We can get it. We can escape. Animal Crossing has been a part of our relationship since the start, and it's no surprise that it's such an important part of our channel. I've got like the perfect hiding spot. You'll never know it's me. Oh no. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Oh my god. <laughs> you ran right past me. I did. Oh no. When we made our first video, it started as sort of a combination of each of our favorite game series, but we never could have imagined how much we could illustrate using the game I grew up with. Although it didn't start out this way, it's fitting that we've shown the evolution of my relationship with games using my first and favorite game. Before we wrap up, we wanted to give a big thank you for helping us get to 100,000 subscribers. We also wanted to give you all an opportunity to get to know us better, so we wanted to do a Q&A style video. A community post is live now where you can ask us any questions you may have. Thanks again for all your love and support. It really means so much to us. Ow!